We often think of trees as making the city a healthier place to live, but a new pollution study suggests that planting certain tree species could come with unintended consequences. Elle McLogan covers Queens and has more from Astoria. Scientist Dan Dan Wei loves trees. Tell me why you love trees. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. They make this space wherever you are more livable. But in a recent environmental study she conducted with a team of researchers, she found some trees may have unexpected effects on our air. It shows higher emissions in the atmosphere. The modeling study found that trees common in New York City, including sweet gum and oak trees, produce significant isoprene, which is harmless on its own, but can react with existing pollution to worsen harmful ground level ozone, more so than previously thought. She says the findings could carry weight in Queens, the borough with the most trees and the most space available for the Parks Department to plant new trees. But how bad are isoprene emitting trees? City Parks told us that when it comes to these trees, species, New Yorkers have no cause for concern. They said great effort goes into planting a wide and resilient variety of trees and that it's one of the most beneficial investments to be made for the health of our city. The city's tree map has pins detailing each tree's life. At 10% of the canopy, most common is the London plane tree, which the researchers say is not a significant isoprene emitter. It's not the trees that are creating the problem, it's fossil fuel emissions. Study co-author Andrew Reinman says the research above all sheds new light on the meaningful connection between the city and its trees and warrants more investment in city parks. Just like what makes New York City so strong is our diversity, our tree canopy can be made stronger by its diversity as well. In Queens, L. McLogan, CBS News, New York. Elle lives in Queens and covers the borough for us. If you have a story idea for her, you can send it to the email on your screen.